specs here, look. Put on the kit in there for a couple of scalds. Yeah, I'll have a mug of tea and a bit of stew, I will, of course. How are we doing, lads? Yeah, um, I'd like to inquire there about, uh, is this the Smithsonian? Hello? Hello? Yes, welcome to the Smithsonian Enterprise. This is me, Helen Soros, speaking. How can I help you? Uh, how are you doing, Helen? I'd just like to make an inquiry there about the, the Akabara stones, figurines and trinkets that were found there in 1944. Yes, well, what about them? What would you like to know about the six and a half thousand year old artifacts? I, I mean, I mean the 70, 80 year old artifacts. What would you like to know? As you were saying, they're six and a half thousand year old, you know that. I meant 80 years old. How can I help? Please, we're busy here in the Enterprise. I mean, I mean in the Smithsonian cover up. I mean in Smithsonian Institution Museum. They, they were studied and um, they came to the conclusion that they were six and a half thousand years old. Like, would you like to? Elaborating that some, somewhat, Helen? Well, you don't think for one minute that there was people going around on dinosaurs six and a half thousand years ago now, do you? For God's sake, man, think about what you're saying. Well, uh, in fairness now, like, as I said, they've been dated, man. They, they were supposed to be six and a half thousand years old, and then the year boys at Smithsonian and got a hold of them. And, uh, you know, everything changed. You can't even see them. They're locked away. So will you answer me one question there, Mr. O'Keefe? How are they going to harness these so-called dinosaurs if they did have dinosaurs and man was walking around with them back in the days? How would you do it? Like, you know, think about what you're saying, Mr. O'Keefe. You sound so silly. It's like a conspiracy. You could tame them. I mean, if you get one when they're young and you start feeding it from the time it's young, like people do with lions and bears and elephants all the time, they become friends and they'll do anything that allows them to harness them. Like horses and, as I say, bulls and cows and elephants and all that. That's how you, they do it. Mr. O'Keefe, I don't know what you're trying to imply. But for God's sake, think about what you're saying. Dinosaurs, they weren't here thousands of years ago. They were here millions and millions and millions of years ago. Well, that's what you keep saying. But yet there are figurines and images throughout the world depicting dinosaurs. Now, we're not supposed to have known nothing about dinosaurs till the 1800s. But yet these figurines are six and a half thousand years old. And in cave paintings around the world in different places, there are dinosaurs drawn onto walls. Well, you see, there would be dinosaurs at all. That's a misunderstanding. People are looking at giraffes and, and camels. That's what they're looking at. No, no, people aren't looking at... Listen, the people who painted these paintings and done the art, you can clearly see when they've done har, uh, elks and deer and all that, all right, giraffe. They clearly have animals there with extra long necks, no, they ain't no camels. There's no humps, no, they ain't no camels. There's some kind of dinosaurs for sure. This is going on all over the world, like, you know what I mean? Why does Mitsuani need to cover up the truth all the time? Why can't you just tell the truth, you know? Well, I mean, like, we're very busy here now. We are up the walls. And the last thing we have time for is some kind of conspiracy theorist on the phone taking up valuable time when we could be here sorting out things and covering them up. I mean, protecting them, you know, and, and putting them away. Protecting them and putting them away. All these stone figurines that you found, Akabara stone figurines, where are they? Can people not see them? If they're only 80 years old, why aren't they out on display? Let people see them and say, look, these are fakes if you want to look at them so people can know the difference between a fake. You see now, Mr. O'Keefe, we're sorry about that now, but unfortunately, they're all locked away. Locked away in the cellar, and I mean, and so that's that's all I can say on the matter. You know, we don't know whereabouts they'd be. They'd be lost amongst uh, hundreds of thousands of artifacts. You know, we're not sure what we have down there. You notice that, all right? You seem to take in stuff and put it into the cellar, and no one can see it again. You know what I mean? You won't let people look at the stuff to analyse it, to check it out. No, you won't let them look at nothing. Are you ever going to let the people see these? Akabara stones, figurines again since she took the whole lot of them. Well, as I said, Mr. O'Keefe, they're under lock and key, and uh, we don't know when they're ever going to be released to the public. We're very busy here, Mr. O'Keefe. I'm going to have to let you go. Yeah, but could I ask one? I'm sorry, Mr. O'Keefe, but we have to leave you. We have to cut you that. So have a good day, you peasant. Sorry? I mean...
And if you wanted to see anything in the Smithsonian and wanted to test it, well, you have to be well got and you have to be one of their cronies. Even if you are, have all the qualifications going that allows you to go in and analyse and test this stuff, you're not getting in the door. Unless you're a part of the cronies that go down and come up with this information they want to put out there, yes, one minute, you want us to check, we'll check it. Yeah, we come back, yeah, we checked it after about 50 years we got back to doing it, we checked it, yeah, like we said already, it's a fake. Okay, can you give them out and leave us it? No, they're locked away. We don't know where they are, they're in storage amongst thousands upon thousands of other stuff. Come with me through the living room here, let's come through the grand hall. No, Follow that's me. camels you're looking at. And that other thing there, that looks like a Brontosaurus or whatever, that big fellow with the big massive neck and the big long tail, he looks fucking ginormous. Not a same, not a camel. And you might say, well, you imagine you would have put an old hump in him. Seems camel have humps. Oh, the must, must have forgot. They must have given him a big, extra big long neck and an extra big long tail instead. And if you look at camels, camels might have long necks, but they have little skinny, little wispy long tails. Not no big fucking tail as thick as their neck heading off into yonder. So, that's the crack about the Macubara artifacts, man. And when the Smithsonian gets stuff, right, the people, like, you need to wake up. A lot of people know this, right? But when the Smithsonian gets stuff, they put it down and they locks it away in the person. Nobody can get to see it again. They'll say, oh, that's a hoax. They're not real. They're fakes. So, will you leave them out there for the people to see? No, they're locked away. So, wouldn't you not leave them out for people to see to prove they're fakes? Don't care. Don't know. They're locked away. When are you going to let them out? Never. Don't know. Don't care. Don't know. Locked away. So, that's what the Smithsonian do. Like, even though, right, there's a lot of past in America that every native artifact belong to the Indians that has been discovered or kept in a museum, all them things, all the bones, everything and anything connected to them, the natives has to be given back and put into their burial grounds, right? And everywhere in America have to hang them up. Except for who? That's right, the Smithsonian. They're the only people that don't have to hang up stuff. And you wonder why? Because maybe people might get their hands in the stuff and say, hold on, this is not what the Smithsonian said it was. This is something completely different. Right, I just said I'd add this in for good measure too, lads, about the Smithsonian. When the Smithsonian come across any kind of artifacts that they can't explain, and you know, they might be controversial artifacts, well, they'll always put them down to all their religious artifacts yeah, it was religious, and it was uh, sacrificing, and it was rituals. That's what dim things there are now you're looking at. So that's the broad brush that covers things with that. They can't explain, or they don't want to explain, or they want people looking into it. They'll call them religious artifacts. That's what they'll do. And so I said, that covers a broad scope. So that's just more on the Smithsonian. Hello, welcome to the Smithsonian Enterprise Cover-Up Institution. I mean, I mean...